In MNPRX, there are different ways to work with a substrate. The substrate is the texture that you find in MNPRX that aids in the overall recreation of the traditional media. Now, if you just leave it as is, you're going to notice that once you have animation, or let's say the camera rotates, you see a shower door effect. So basically, the substrate pattern stays static, whereas everything behind it moves. Now, this might often be an undesirable effect. So there's different ways to combat this in MNPRX. The first thing you can use is the substrate tile attribute. What this is, is every round number, you'll get a new substrate tile. So at one, at two, at three, there's going to be a change in the substrate tile. Now, if you key this with your animation, as we have done here, you're going to see that every few frames, the substrate is going to change and it's going to aid in the overall look of the animation. So the substrate is not static anymore. You can animate this in twos, in threes, or whenever the action takes place, like I've done here. In combination with this, you can also use the substrate tile blend. This attribute helps blend between different substrate tiles. So if I have substrate tile zero here and one at five, if I enable substrate tile, I'm going to have a blending between these two tiles, as you can see here. So this is very useful, for example, for uh, smooth camera translations and so forth. And it gives a nice morphing effect to the substrate to avoid the, the static substrate in the background. Now, the last option that we have in MNPRX is to use the advected substrate. Advection means that the substrate is going to be attached to the geometry of the object. So once I enable this attribute here, the motion of each vertex is going to be calculated so that they follow the action. Basically, the, the substrate is attached to the object. So if I click play here, you're going to notice that the substrate is following the object and it's still respecting the substrate tile refresh that I have here. So once in a while, the substrate still changes. But in general, it is attached to the object itself. The reason why the performance is much slower is because by calculating at each frame the position difference of each vertex, this takes a toll, of course, on the CPU. And depending on the ge geometry that you have in the scene, it can slow the scene considerably. Now, as you may notice, I'm still using a substrate tile refresh here. That is because when you attach a 2D substrate into 3D animation, it tends to break down, especially upon rotation. So if I'm here rotating the scene, at the beginning it will look nice, but once you rotate too much, you're going to start noticing artifacts here. These artifacts can be reduced by simply updating the substrate. So a combination of motion at vected substrate and altering the substrate tiles usually gives the best results. All right, so those are the ways to combat the shower door effect in MNPRX. Let me know what you think. We're going to be working on more in the future. Thank you.